Bro, oh, me and Janelle look like we did in the mafia. <laughs> yeah. What and nothing like that? Man, it wasn't nothing like that first time. She was in my math class. Long hair, brown skin with the fat ass. Sat beside me, used to laugh, had mad jokes. The teacher always got mad, so we passed notes. It started off so innocent. She had a vibe in it. It's the theater host. I was a young and straight Don't go inside, it's not fun inside. nigga couldn't wait to get to school. Cause when I seen them thighs on it, and Happy New Year! <laughs> Some people like New Year, same me. Mm -mm, I can't do that. Can't relate. I've been Medina Mezio 2016 alkaline vibes this year, straight. New level unlocked. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I saw these three things today because I was watching stuff on my iPad because I'm a learner. We mainly just watch some knowledge based shit nowadays. And in one of these videos I was watching recently, it was talking about life and stuff like that. It said, We can't wait for life to happen if we seek it. The only way you get through this thing we call life is to actively participate in it. And then this other one by Vivian Green, it says, Life isn't about waiting for the storm to pass, it's about learning how to dance in the rain. And it just had me on men's life. Every day I'm sitting I'm a bum yeah. People love to say, oh, being a homebody and like make it seem like this wonderful thing when after being a homebody for so long, it gets to you. You know, experience a lot. I sit here every day experiencing other people's life and it's just like, I don't want that for myself. I want to live a fantastic life. I do not want to let life pass me by and then I'm a miserable Grinch in the future. So this year, that's really my goal. But anyway. Today is Sunday. As you can see, my room needs a clean. I've just been throwing stuff down. I wash my clothes, throw it on the bed. Man, I need to sleep every night. Boot up, husband and wife, you know? I need to make a good shit. of the IG body mentality. If they're real, you take a little picture of them. When you have to wear that outfit again? Hmm? When are you going to wear that outfit again? For example, my birthday dress. At this point, I guess I'll give her some stuff, you know, and just link me for no one them because I spent too much money for my birthday dress. What other occasion is coming up for me to wear that? I'm going to the grocery store. Y'all want anything? Hmm? You see my point here? <laughs> If I dress like this, I'm gonna be called extra as fuck. Men are gonna think I'm dressing for their attention. Especially in Jamaica. No thanks. But it's like I still wanna be a bad bitch, so. Could you eat that scrumdily yum yum my purple? I don't know if you can't hear it, but I ate over in a play. I can't handle really any things that Bruno Mars be black. <laughs> what a bomb of clarity is going on right now. It's going to be a top, oh guys. Every time I'm like, yeah. Ready up. Every single time, my 
I put myself on and say, yeah, yeah, yeah. Me, this motivated, ready to go. Hope you can be able to do that, you know. <laughs> and to get late, you know, so what time I go cook dinner? Because I need my groceries. My mother always makes Sunday dinner nice. So, we want to make Sunday dinner nice too. I think it was that. You really see, you follow so much people in your life. That's why you need to make sure you want to surround yourself with smart people and not some dumb assholes. That's why people who are always successful is people who surround yourself with good ass people. And people love use this thing, but all oh, birds of a feather fuck together is not true. You might not be like that, but you're an enabler. For example, you hear one boy named Carl and the R word and proof did they say that boy R word somebody and then one guy who was still friend with that guy would do the R word. It's that type of thing. If your friend is an R word, it's please move from side of me, get away. I don't want to be your friend. Like the fact that you're still friend with that person it tells me a lot about you. Can you just have to tell me say enable that type of behavior? If your friend is not a go getter or is a lazy piece of shit, don't be that friend. Don't be friends with me. <laughs> <laughs> no, but you'll do it. <laughs> Listen, I'm trying to change. At least I'm trying. <laughs> Nigga, try to be a skip. Cause I, ain't nothing gonna stop me. pork chops and baked chicken with some rice and peas I really wish we had like a pressure cooker so could I make like oxtail and curry goat even though I'm not fully know if I make it I feel like that would have fun I'm gonna leave certain things to my mother and my granny leave it to the professionals for example you wouldn't catch me dead cooking Aki I'm scared I'm scared I kill everybody in the house Aki is so scary like no. So you wouldn't catch me dead using a pressure cooker either. I mean, I have experience in that field. But a girl is still a chef. Yeah. <laughs> you know what? Come go cook my food. I don't love chatting out too much. Grocery haul. First things first is some scaling. Then I got this mozzarella cheese. Some lettuce for our salad later. We've been trying to be healthy, okay? China. So we eat one little salad on the side with every meal. The tomatoes, purple onion, ginger. I'm pretty sure we have ginger already, but we just did I get it in case. Pretty sure we have garlic already too. Some cucumber for the salad. We get some jerk seasoning and the brand we use from a jerk seasoning. Almost every seasoning is island spice, Cajun seasoning, garlic powder, some ketchup, tomato sauce, and the bill came up to nine thousand dollars. I do it and everything that yet though. This big rice, milk. Oh shit, I forgot to buy butter. Some pork chops. And I failed this. $9,000. <sighs> Even though I feel, feed myself one thing. Jaja. My grocery bill has been decreasing. Wait, hold on. I'm gonna wash my hand real quick and fix the water back up. So, I realized I just put a manual. They are buying a little, little one one shit that did not last. Like small bag of rice, small this, small that because it's cheap. You just have to lock your eye <laughs> and swipe your card because the one big spending actually I do your good. A lot of people are working minimum wage. Sometimes you just don't even have the money to be buying that big expensive one thing and the fact that it's one thing for that cost it just make it don't want buy it that's why the rich will get rich and the poor get poorer because you take your money buy the one one thing then because you want variety of stuff and you end up 
I feel I go back to the supermarket almost every other day or every week or some shit like that. But the man will have the money and spot we can pay for like multiple big things. They must save their money. It's a lose lose thing. You think you get the cheaper thing, but in reality, in long term, you're actually spending more money. Yeah. Why is air people say stuff like penis? Bring your penis. <laughs> We didn't know what cheapness bring you. High grocery bill total. Stress, great year, anxiety, arthritis in your big two cataract in your right eye. We really need to start learning how to budget. But mine, because sometimes I love going and send me a Bill Gates, you know. I mean, no damn well. I'm neither Bill Gates or Bill Fence. <laughs> Actually, I'm great today, man. But for true, if I don't have like no budgeting tips, Tell me. Yo, me hate onions sometimes. Oh my god, my eyes are burning! Look away, Janine, look away. <laughs> and then, he told me that he doesn't love me anymore. He cheated on me with his cousin. Wait, yeah, you see that? That's, all, like, that's how TikTok story times be like. Give me up here one and I'm like, what the fuck? Where do you get these men? <laughs> Cue sad violin. Bro, I don't want to do this anymore. That's why we forget your story Make us come together, baby, all right That's why you remember who you are So I'm not even giving out <laughs> the recipe if I don't know if it's solid. It. That's my also can, but I'm kind of tired. <laughs> Start off by putting the pot on medium heat. Throwing some water. So I'm going to throw in some salt. I'm going to have the first the coconut milk powder open. The grease one I'll be using. I'm going to give you the for rice and peas though, because rice and peas is nice in my opinion. I don't know about no, but I like to put sugar in my rice and peas. Feel like it does a little something. <laughs> Listen, the people who have done it knows it be hitting. My camera died. I don't know if it kept, but I put the peas in. See, maybe add my scotch on it. Gillian. And by the way, the reason why me make so much food, even though I just me and Janelle, is because this is our Sunday Monday. I enough food for today and tomorrow. Crush up the garlic. I fling it in the pot. I'm like add some jerk seasoning. I forgot to add a little black pepper. Some sugar, just enough. Not too sweet enough. Some thyme. I add in the rice. I like to take out some of the water just for like insurance. You can't fix dry rice, you know, but you can't fix wet rice. <laughs> just take out a little bit of the water. If you need more, I'm add it. If it doesn't, then we're good. Smart, I know. Maybe add a little bit of butter. Piece of magic cane already. Don't say nothing. Um, this is really hungry. And I'm a gremlin. <sighs> I'm sorry, we need to start eat. <laughs> I'm about to watch Snowfall with I mean, you know, Damien, Lori Harvey, nigga. Yeah, I should have really good so far. I've learned a lot about drugs. <laughs> That's why I shouldn't watch things, you know, because when I watch shows, it's like, I, I feel like I can do this. I can do this, you know? <laughs> yeah. The recipe, huh? Yeah? Three pork chops, can go on. Can go on, man. Good morning guys. This morning we're kind of dangerous out, but 
see I do look a ritual of listening to 2016 Alkaline. Now I'm kind of I feel like a good New Year's vibe. I'm clean my room, I just let my hair. I feel alright, I'm gonna take on the world. <laughs> what I realized is, I'm gonna take the all new friends thing to heart. This language you're exiting. But no new friends, no new friends, no, 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 no. I haven't had a new friend since my life is <laughs> I can't have friend trauma skills, friend PTSD. But right now, I'm just like get ready to go up on the road. I need to pay my light bill. And I need to go see if the doctor can give me another re up on my medication. I mean, I don't want it to be a case where me guys yeah, will again. Me a sneeze, me a cough, me a dead, and me can't do no videos, and me can't do no, I'm just sit down. I stress in an alkaline sanctuary again. <laughs> Bro, this is just a video of me fan really. <laughs> it said, we never make it last year, and me said, we take that to art, we take that to art, you fuck. Me here, he said, I'm just a gentleman. Real. <laughs> I can make it that year. It keeps actually the most to be you them. Just done put this in my ear. Now I'm gonna add some gel. Bro, I feel like my new hair routine has been killer. Made me feel more confident for my hair. Oh shit, I forgot to put in my oil again. Why do I keep doing that? Now I'm done with the mousse. Alright, now that I'm here done, I'm just go put on my clothes. I wasn't recording this whole time. I feel like I will go on a social media cleanse. I'm gonna insert the TikTok that I saw this morning and I related to it so much because I even said it to you guys yesterday and I was just like, I'm in my room rotting on my phone, on social media, watch what people live. Before I go live my life, I day a screw up. 15 years ago, the internet was an escape from the real world. Now the real world is an escape from the internet. I kid you not, I think about this tweet every day of my life. We used to say BRB, now we just live here. Also, this tweet that went viral recently. These little colorful icons are always beckoning. Everyone is always reachable. The internet is definitely not a place anymore since it's embedded in all of us, but I do still think of the internet as an entity. You know when you're talking to someone and they keep checking their phone or they're scrolling while you're talking to them? It feels like there's this third entity in the room with you. Or I think of sometimes when you walk into a room and you feel like anxious or insecure, so you pull out your phone and you're like, I'm connecting this way. Like, I'm not talking to anyone, but don't worry, I'm not a loser. I'm connecting, I promise. Last year, I challenged myself not to do that and to have my green light on, which is just like, smile at people, make eye contact, have good posture, not have my phone out. But it's so hard, right? Like I remember before the rise of everyone having their smartphones and their laptops, you would get to class or there'd be break time or you go to a conference and there's break time, people talk to each other. You talk to the person next to you. It's like that study about how Americans are talking to their neighbors less and less. And maybe that's a different conversation about small talk and how human interactions are awkward and imperfect and still worth it. That's why oftentimes I think we'll hope when my childhood was how high school was, yeah, the internet was there, but it's not like idiot can zoom me every day. I was going places, I was going to school every day, I was talking to my friends, I was doing this, I was doing that. Like it's really the whole internet. I need a break from that. I need to really start reading again. I've been saying that since the New Year's start. Yeah, that's why I'm kind of all dressed up to go outside because usually my outfits give lazy, hurry up and go and come back home. But no, today I don't think I'm going to do that. I'm just gonna really romanticize my life. <laughs> I feel like that's so corny. Everybody be talking about romanticization. But I feel true, like honestly, internet is not bringing me joy. And now they don't for me. Most I do is make me jealous of other people's life, make me less productive. It just made me a lazy piece of shit. And honestly, no. If we are a review, no, we don't know how long we have it on this earth. I like to make it count. It just kind of makes me sad when we think about it. And then it's. <laughs> There's a lot of things I just need to get over also with the friend thing. This girl, I was friend with Hannah in high school, like really, 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 really kinda messed me up and I haven't I haven't healed from that. It's really hard for me to open up 
and make new friends just because i'm afraid the whole since we started youtube thing i don't know if they just want me to friend because they want help with for them social media platform the world fuck up you don't know when people are being genuine that's the worst thing at the same girl when we do the yam head story time board the only reason why i even told that story is because that story is nothing to me like a stuff I'm gonna tell them about because I feel like it's way too personal and I shouldn't bring that on the internet. I really will hurt me. I really will me not heal from and get over and it's just like sometimes I think about her randomly. You know, I hope she's fine. I wish her the best honestly. But I also wish I kinda got some closure, you know? But me not really have not hate for her or not like that. I don't really know how my feet even heal from that. Like what am I supposed to do? And I like she stopped being my friend, you know, and me stopped being her friend because she do something. And I was like, there's no way you expect me to still be your friend after that. So I kind of just cut her off and stopped talking to her. That's when I was like, shit, my mom is right. Because my mother never yet warned me about Janelle, never yet said nothing about bad boy with Janelle. But it's that one girl, she's like, Janine, I don't think you should be friends with this person. And then I saw it and I was just like, damn, my mom been telling me this whole time. So I did not listen. <laughs> when they say parents are, it's not your friend them. They never tell a lie. <laughs> I just need to put myself out there more. I just don't know how. And I have serious social anxiety and I'm really awkward. So it's just like, how do I even try to be someone's friend? I'll heal one day. It's not today. <laughs> Step and I didn't even realize that that step was that important for my hair to look this different, but that's cool, it's whatever. So I got this. Oh my god, it's porridge. I got this brand of ice cream. I don't know if this is nice or not, but I mean, I should nice for right now. I couldn't find the brand that I usually get, so I got that. And then I got this bag of chips. And of course, because yesterday we didn't need no scotch bonnets, I did forget scotch bonnets today. Butter, generally one on Twix, and some ranch. And that's the haul. It's not really much better. No more. Even the same go, we need enough to dream up and box me through the phone. Okay? Or the tablet, or the computer, or whatever, or the TV, whatever you're watching it on. Is there from yesterday? I don't usually do that. I don't know what I'm doing. I will become tired as fuck. The book I've been reading, well, the book I tried to read was uh, The Things That Hide From The Light. I think that's the one I was reading. The Things We Hide From The Light. Yep, that is what I'm reading. It's super pretty. The cover art. And I'm at chapter three. It didn't catch my attention, I know. I don't remember why I stopped. I need to stop being a bum bitch and educate myself. This is why I like to read. Listen to this. The sun rose above the tree line, turning frosted tips of grass to glittering diamonds. Brother, you can't tell me you're not picture exactly what the fuck she attack. When you find a good writer, we can paint a picture with words for you. I read her first book, which was, hold well, on, let me see. The Things We Never Got Over. This is the first book. This is the one we read right now is the second. That first book? Crazy. Had me like, <laughs> what the hell? I love books like that. Guys, please, please, please give me a book recommendations in the comment. Thank you. Back to my reading. Stop checking me out. I'm gonna eat some ice cream. It's already looking in there. Not so good. I like the vanilla that has like the little things in it. You see, oh, in this picture, it have like some black dots on it. Bro, man, this is the best fucking ice cream ever. 
Mm. Scrumgly yum yum. I'm going to put it in the food. Put it one more. Set me a weapon. I cannot pronounce this. I'm going to flap myself. But see so the name there. I give this a six. It's almost too creamy. But the other one is more like a crispy, nice. You know? <laughs> Guys, you see? My mouth. It knows. It knows. It knows when it's eating fucking quality. Because I just Googled it. If you have vanilla ice cream with the little black specks, those are parts of a real vanilla pod. Okay? You are eating high quality ice cream and not ice cream that's just made with vanilla extract or vanilla flavoring. Looking at this shit. Looking at this shit. It doesn't have what I want. And now I'm even sadder. Why did I look it up? <laughs> I'm gonna have to eat this fucking fake ass artificial shit. You know what I want you. <laughs> you fake bitch. That's why I'm not like eat at other people's yard, you know. Just like that, I just any and anybody. Okay, once you eat good food and they go near food where eh, it just come like to the food all full love. <laughs> I could think about is money and getting a car but I wrote down some things it's, it's kind of simple kind of mundane so my first goal actually is dream bad <laughs> I have no problem with being skinny I've been skinny basically all my life but I feel like I just want a fat ass man I do want a fat ass like the type of body I want is like ruby rose type body clown Oh, I saw this picture. I think I'm gonna use this one. One of my biggest things too that I heard comes along with going to the gym is discipline. I really want to be more structured. And whenever there's time for do something, I'm actually do it on a lele. The next thing is being financially stable. <laughs> Why? My ultimate goal is to give my parents the life I think they deserve. That's probably the only goal that I'm 100% sure about that I really want is I want my parents to have like a really happy life. I want to fly my mom out. And my dad always talks about how China this, China that. And like I feel like it would be good for him to go back, all that stuff. I don't want to talk about this because it's like when we get all mushy guys. <laughs> And it's not just my parents, it's my sister, my brother. I want to be able to spoil them Christmas time. I'm me and Santa Claus. <laughs> Health is the next thing on my vision board. You know all them say you have headache girlies and you have stomach pain girlies. I'm both of those. But mainly stomach. Like, bro, sometimes my constipated you <laughs> My fault is still because I don't really be drinking water like that. Like I be having a hard, hard, hard time in the bathroom. Overall, I just don't feel like I'm that healthy of a person. One thing I'm going to do is get that coat from, not even a coat from Jayco Sang, just Jayco Sang, love yours. I want to get that on my vision board because I think it's really important you remember for love your life. Bro. I'm getting this in my fucking room. It even have the fucking lyrics. 
but you ain't ever gonna be happy till you love your bro i swear oh self-love i feel like i really work towards self-love a lot like me i come from afar but i feel like i'm still not there yet but sometimes i get too caught up in my head um the next thing is i want a better relationship with god i know this is bad but i only go to him when life really bad for me so i want to be more connected and closer to him instead of just reaching out for him whenever like it's too hard i want to reach out to him when like good too kind of really feel shitty to admit that and the other is grow as a youtuber i really want my content to just be like really unique really want it to be mine you know i don't want it to be a copy and paste of what everyone is doing when you see that shit you're like whoa whoa whoa, whoa. ain't nobody doing it like janae <laughs> i don't really know how to get something to represent cinematography to be honest i guess this but this is like a director thing i'm gonna still use it y'all know what i fucking mean <laughs> the other thing i really want is a car I want a bimmer. I want a black bimmer. Oh, bro, this is sexy. God damn. That's purple lights. Might doesn't get all of either a Honda, but at least I have a car. Yeah. But my real, my real goal is a bimmer. I really want a bimmer. So, guys, it's just in the after end because. <laughs> We have to leave. <laughs> here are. She will be there more and I'll be there me because she need charge for her battery. Wait, 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 wait. No, you want to say hi to them and acknowledge them. You see them there, because you're not coming to where you want, like you don't want to talk to them. No, because I have to come to talk my part of the story. <laughs> This morning, no wake up. Make breakfast. My bed, brush my teeth, eat my breakfast, put on my clothes, comb my ear, look for my picture of them, and Janine is still there. Do you see my brushing teeth there? Eh? Me no muscles. <laughs> Tell me if me no muscles. <laughs> Listen, okay? Nothing but that. <laughs> Another day, another bitch. Brother, you can't go nowhere and I see no fucking bitch. Me and Janelle in the fucking book store. From before four, right? Or like two five. A little bit two five. And the man said we have to put the picture of them palm on a Microsoft document. We say okay, we'll do it. Then him saying we'll do it for we you know. So we say alright, yay! Then this woman will come. She will come to him, but ah, uh, this area is too locked off. You're not supposed to even do this for them. And I'm like, we didn't even ask the fucking I'm man. We have to pay fee him time. We might do it. And I'm yes. Like, but him have to do it, so why we have to pay? And she bought, oh, you start already. Might as well, you finish. <laughs> Every minute she up, but the man, I make the man do foolish. Brother. <laughs> then we ah. end up up here, go on next place with teeth now. Bro, me have to wonder which part they get the paper there. I must God cut the tree and make the paper get them. But Come. I'm telling you, at 13, 14 pages, my print. And I said, one dollar at the land. I print five pages and a thousand dollars. At first, I had 10 pages and she told me two. Grand. Oh, Let me the after look, Panjanel. Come here, said, there's no way I heard that right. There's no way I heard that right. So let me tell you, at the first, yes, the first set of people who write the Bible, and most of them are gonna print this up. Brother, brother, I was shocked because Kingston books are charge fifty dollar per page. You know why the fuck them are come charge? Exactly. Two hundred dollars. Me say when me hear the price, me have to look and see if it's really. But I wasn't that gonna do that. Here. So me put all of them on five pages and pay a thousand dollars. That's still dear though. But I had no choice. Hey, so we're home. We get some kids to see you. Anyways, anyways. So they only have this really big foam board with the use as a vision board. And we just have to cut it. So these are Janelle's stuff. 
And then these are mine. And if you don't want to see in-depth stuff of Janelle stuff, you don't know. Go to her channel. Oh, me just remember, me and her are do one best friend channel now. Are we going to do some cool? No. Like we did have one before. We did have one before you now, but we have started back, you see me? But anyways, these are my pictures. I think they're so cute. I'm actually happy with what I chose. I didn't tell you about the hair one. I very much need long hair this year. So I need to go get myself a growth oil. This is going out more. The clothes is more. I want to elevate my fashion. Hear my look, my aesthetic. All that more eat the girlies up. And then for the 333, since recently, it's been my favorite number. I also like 888 because in like Chinese culture and overall, it usually represents mula. You see me? And 333, I only like it because it speaks about creativity. And this year, more and I'm a creative back. But yeah, tomorrow we will go hope garden and do this. And we get this for paste it on the wall. We said, I can't even you know why we record another place, but when she didn't show me the different options, she was like, This one is 900, this one is 700, this one is 500. Me and Jenna were like, 500. <laughs> Literally, the same time, but you want to laugh. But yeah. I don't care what the other one you can do. If it's cheap, you give it. You don't mind in everybody else's. Julius. <laughs> then this is a box cut off to cut the foam board. I want scissors and of course I had to get one that is purple. So I have this little girlie named Jayla. J girl named just that bitch, you know? We're just the it girls. Janine, Janelle, Jayla, Jana. I know so much J girls that just be given cunt, you know? Jayla sent me some bracelets because my bracelet stack is dwindling by the second. Bro, I had so many bracelets. When I'm dead, I have no clue. You don't know when it is either. It's just like then get up and walk with some Toy Story type shit but bracelet edition. The Instagram is Jayla's Beaded Jewelry. So this is a clay bracelet. And of course purple. Oh, I didn't even see this one had a charm. It has a fairy charm. She was a fairy. <laughs> oh, this is a phone charm. This is cute. These other ones I think are so adorable because it's like pearls. It has a little sea turtle. Now guys, guys, you already know. <laughs> if it's purple, give it to me. Give me, give me, give me. Ah! Oh my God, bro, this shit's so cute. And this one is a smiley face charm. I already have a smiley face one right here, but it's different, so I'm glad. If it's in perfectly, perfect, 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 perfect. Oh my god, it's a moon. It's so cute. You can't say me never putting it on because I know you guys be wanting bracelets. I know you want your stack looking like mine. Come on. I'm so happy now. Now I'm fulfilled. <laughs> give me, give me, give me. Oh no, wait, 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 wait. Before six. This is a fit. 
you know, and I have on my like warmers and whatever. A little cute fit because I want this picture for my wait me out. Yo photo. I did. <laughs> Cover photo or some shit like that header. One for my channel, basically. I feel like hope guy now just have this nice look of nature pictures vibe, you know. So I'm excited. Let's go. <laughs> Podcast or something? No, YouTube videos. Oh, oh YouTube. Yeah, I'm subscribed on the channel name. No, I'm gonna shout out. So, I'm a superstar still on the quiet still. I'm gonna really load it up. Yeah, yeah superstar. Yeah. Like, I do like sound engineer and them things with artists and things. I'm very to art. Personally, I work with like the military too, you know? Personally. Cool. But I see me the notes from over there, so I'm just gonna see your face personally. So I'm gonna say here and think so. You know? Just with the common courtesy, I'm. You are? Janelle. 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 Janelle and Janelle. So I don't get to know as friends like the name. We're like, Janelle and Janelle. Like, we're friends. <laughs> see, it's a J thing. Well, we don't see it in a 4K. Our life. <laughs> so, why is there two cameras? Individual um, channel? Yeah. How much money do you make so far? That is a very personal question. It's personal because money, I'm kind of out of money league now, and I'm kind of bigger than money and things. So, but that's why I know it's a benefit to me, like, you see? You know, I try to be humble because my father, my, my family kind of too filthy and I'm kind of impulsive. So, I have to be the, the black sheep for those humble, you know? Because I've got dead left money, you see? Okay. Yeah, I kind of be down to her because you can get in the like, interview with all people too, you know, because you are saw for them living in the neighborhood and them people. And Joan is living in the neighborhood. We know the day type of something they have vlog with us. Polaroids. Another day ruined by a man. <laughs> I thought this was going to be like a peaceful, relaxing, you know? motivating day yeah. where we talk about our goals and aspirations yeah. in life. And then this man just chats. I think so. Well, we are peers. We'd uh, be able to talk about what we stuff they mean and something. But the man did have other plans for me. I talk about owning thing large. When in my life, I basically ride a pan. There's nothing wrong, I don't want to feel like. But he was talking so much shit, so like, why are you riding a bicycle and talking big like that? Like, come yes, on. Yes, he talk like he got him money and whatever, whatever. He work with so much big artists. Oh, he's a music engineer. He's a producer. He call up people near him. Ask oh, me if I know them. Pop can this and pop can that, like he know him personally. And oh, skilly bang them busy, and I'm just like, child anyways <laughs> and you know we come here late so we waste enough of our time most of the footage we have i am at <laughs> yep to be honest when you deal with certain man you kind of have to try your hardest not to be disrespectful yeah, to because to some of them if they feel the slightest disrespect they will target you and harm you exactly and yeah we, we out here so yeah we oh you feel like you're more than we you know and fuck you up and some man steal their ego steal. and they say you look nice and they might look you but when you when you refuse them they might say you look like shit you're drunk yes but, like him give up the type them of man there i'm so scared of them yeah so so scared because so, yeah. when they look at them i say hey can i take you your shit can't make party your dark I shit you are this yeah, that you don't even look that good or some shit like that for like degrade you because they feel disrespected because you don't want them because you yeah. reject them that's why you kind of just have to make them go on because ain't nobody not gonna take my six points <laughs> my three points for me nobody, look at idiots, exactly like. nobody not gonna take my three points over the fuck say me don't want you 
life of a girl, it's really. It's QR codes. Yeah. It's cute. It's cute. I don't know where I'm gonna put it though. The first thing I'm gonna hang up is my YouTube plaque. I've been wanting to put it on that wall forever. I don't know if this can go on the wall anymore because right here is like this smooth texture. It's kind of heavy. Boo. Let me try. Let me see if we can stick. <sighs> oh, freaking out for nothing. Tell me why this Pocahontas song is in my head. Have you ever heard of the Pocahontas song? I actually want to listen to it now. Bro, I'm crazy now. I feel like I'm mad. Why that song even in my head? I haven't heard that song in forever. So like, what the fuck? Why am I just randomly thinking about it? Oh, guys, look at this picture. I changed my cover photo. I feel like... Can you use this one? Uh, it's kind of cute, but I don't like how it looks on my iPad. I fixed that. Colors of the Wind. That's the song. It's the savage one. It's me. Has a life. Has a spirit. Has a name. Who can think like you? Can you paint with all the colors of the wind? Cameras, dead ass, brother. Last night was so eventful. Just take a look at my wall. Take a look at my plaque. Okay, now take a look at my outlet. You wanna tell me why is it the bottom eyes? My show. Huh? It just ripped off the wall. Look how much fucking tape I use, bruh. So now, I don't think I can ever put up my block. I probably just need to get something to put it on. Because that's not gonna work. Anyways, I time to go get ready for dim sum because it is 10 fucking o'clock. And dim sum close 2.30. We're not gonna be late. Mark my words. One thing about me and Janelle, we love a belly. So we're gonna be on time. Uh, we've been wanting to go for dim sum so bad, just never gotten a chance. Every single time we say we are go, something can go. Let's go in my closet. How? Michael, Reef, you are me. Me I'm making room straight. You suck out the pussy. She put her body in my pants. Mother's tired. Can I see it in a matter of she pray? Uh 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 uh. uh. That's on my body now. This whole award thing just make me a member. Yo, Siri, play that. Hey Siri, play Microwave by Alkaline. Oosh! Street them no one. Where your man buy game, make it up left that I want that. And I forget them bad. Microwave, you are beat me, I make it no stress. You're so good, they put the shit with that right now, you feel? When is a motherfucker gonna eat someone up like this? What? I'm thinking I wear these cargo pants or I wear this skirt. So it's like cutesy casual. The thing about the skirt is I don't really have any shoes that can really go with it like that so Did I wash my bodysuit because I could wear the outfit I wear at the grill These are the outfit made a try wear today I've been such a lip liner girly I'm with you Because the skin has been skinny Like teeth Oh this is a fit guys Some cargo pants is and then my shoes. I feel like it's nice and simple, you know. 
May I have your day on my shirt back? One thing before I go. Any old bitch have anything to say today? Cut the cameras. <laughs> but guys, at this point, we're gonna have to scrap. <laughs> we tell the Jamaican people really and truly. It's like, y'all can't worry about on yourself, you know? But yeah, let's go. We're getting the char sao bao, the Shanghai dumpling, steam chicken dumpling, and black bean ribs with the rice. <laughs> also, look here. I'm just showing one joke. That is calculating. Let's see what happens. Actually, I'm calculating. Next thing, you flap yourself after you wash dishes. <laughs> Murder. Oh, guys, I just wanted to talk about those old fuckers. Huh? What are you shooting for? What do you mean? What, what pictures are you taking? Why? I just want to know. Those if are, I can be in Uproar needed. Was it necessary? I wonder if anything is that they wanted to But they saw the camera set up long before they even come up the stairs. So when folk like people, people need to stop. Feel like people business about them. Then the man stand up at the door all long. The man stand up and ask me, I come talk to me. I'm telling me now, and he still like come again. Like what the fuck? But you're telling, and then the woman, the woman still like ask questions. Like she like you when you tell the man. Right. That was genuinely so if they annoying. All undeserved, they don't need to keep it today, so. But even if we did it on a record and then don't want to be involved in what we are doing, just what say it. We just stand up there. What is this? What is this? So, ginger and skin and sauce. Sauce, sauce, pepper. And the vinegar, honey, shop like that. Thank you. You're yeah, welcome. Like a pencil. Hold this one like a pencil and you squeeze down on this one. Put this one right as well. <laughs> okay. This goes here. When oh, the because you left handed, make it look so. No, 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 no. Whatever. You yeah, grip it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm ready for my food now. I can bring it out. <laughs> you you have to get up to open. You have to wait a little bit. <laughs> okay, I'll wait. Good luck with your eyes. <laughs> you know, say, me have extra because my mom and I make an egg and bacon and um, bread. Probably because I'm hungry belly right now. <laughs> me have put the black bean ribs as number one. This is number two. I feel like they could have given more char so meat tonight. I feel like I'm mainly dumpling with your taste. But other times when we get char so, I love meat and juicy. So I don't know what I'm going to so. Then Shanghai dumpling. Then the chicken dumpling. The chicken dumpling I didn't like that much. Something in the right with it. I feel like you did Not regular. You know, you know, the sauce with our something. That's why in India they probably get the wrong sauce. Cause in India they this some shrimp, some India wonder. Oh, this though, this slap. If they get one for me, one for the <laughs> So I'm on the roof. 
I'm going to paint the Elmo painting so I can put it on my wall, but I don't know if I want to put it in black or gray. Maybe I should do red. After I'm done paint, I think I'm just going to read and relax. Make a listen to some Maroon 5. Beauty queen of only 18. I just add on Uber and basically, I take out the chicken, right? For cook, because I need to make a make curry. And tell me why I be a bone in the bag. To all it look, I think that I didn't know meat in there. But it's literally just chicken bag. And then I think like chicken bag will have meat on there. The meat part of the chicken bag, gone. <laughs> and there's three freaking peas that can't even make curry. So. I got up in the road to buy Little Tokyo and now I'm kind of tempted to buy this spray because that kind of really pissed me off <laughs> and yeah, I get late so I was like okay let me spray this real quick and then we'll go continue reading and I literally was not spraying and I'm like bro how is this dirty already look at this one and look at this one oh the Uwa calm me hello we have a rubber guy who in reach outfit. Oh, this is what we look like Adam Sandler. <coughs> so now I'm gonna take this other sign to be just bite. <laughs> so I can finish. Not finish, but I can add another piece to my wall. Let's go. <laughs> B-I-T-T-E-R H-O-E-S B-I-T-T-E-R H-O-E-S It's the Bitter Host Clubhouse Don't go inside, it's not fun inside It's the Bitter Host Clubhouse Don't go inside, it's not fun inside Me, I wonder if I have like some bitch pheromones on me or some shit because uh, why? Why bitches love me? It's not even love me Actually, they hate me. They hate me so bad. Tell me why I went to Little Tokyo, got my food, right? And this guy waited in front of me, said me for going in front of him. So I'm like, okay, all right, thanks. Went in front of him, and the lady that worked there was like, one of the ladies that worked there was like, oh, they're in front of you. She stared at me the whole time. You know, see when him tell me something good, I go in front of him. Why the fuck y'all tell me that? And I was like, he told me, blah, blah, blah. Then, when the woman comes serve me, I try, I try to come serve me, he's like, she's like, oh, I them first. Anyways, I'm going right there. I'm mad as fuck. <laughs> because, bitch, bitch, who saw you? That's why I didn't even record while I was there, you know, because I couldn't just remember get my food on Guan, you just did it. I ran your fucking mouth. Hey guys, I've decided to do a little project. So as part of my new year reset, I decided to finally do a little thing to my room. But the thing is, you know, I want my room to look really artsy, really capture my personality and room. So far, I have purple everything. At this point, loving purple is my personality because I had purple hair to just wash out. <laughs> I always get some kind of purple on my nails. Everything, I just love purple. And my thing is, I've been looking on courts, Ashley, Active Furniture Store, Chub, Kim Lani, Mart, all those places, and they all have the same basic ass bed frames. Should I really be spending 300,000? Plus, I just don't think they're nice. I just don't like them. 
I did see some like metal bed frames on Amazon and I was thinking to get those kind of gives a vibe that I like you know the little emo girl shit grunge shit it looked like pipes that's why I fucking liked it so I feel like that's more me and I'd get stuff like that but when I calculate how much it is to ship that shit to Jamaica this I'm like <laughs> But the fact that on Amazon, they're like $50, $40, $70, $100, right? Then I have to pay twice that amount. Forget it here? I get crazy. Because even though they're cheap, you know, they're kind of heavy. So customs are going to charge you a bag. What I'm going to do, though, is getting palettes. I've seen so many cute shit on Pinterest. And I just feel like this is literally my type of vibe it's giving creative it's giving artsy it's giving look at this look at this bro i literally i want to do this i want to wear this guys i love it i do have that grunge emo rock star vibe that i like but i also really like nature i also like bohemian type stuff that's why you see me with my crystal, my waistcoats and stuff like that. And I feel like if I get my room to be like a mixture of everything I want, then mm. So I'm ready. I did my hair kind of coquette. <laughs> I joke. But I put it in a tool. Pigtails or whatever it's called. I think it's cute. The fit is like this calm shit. You can see it in the um, mirror behind me. Oh, I didn't even realize I don't have any pockets. This yoga pants, this yoga pants, and a t shirt. Hey guys, sorry, I'm not updating them yet, but it's been hectic. We have buy the pallet, them, the guy, them, say. We can't get them sand there, I'm just getting them on a thing. So, yay. We'll talk to you later, we can't manage. <laughs> Let me tell you guys about my day. I had a good day. Like, oh my god, today was so nice. Everybody was so nice to me. Surprisingly, today, no bitches. Got a few compliments that swell my head. <laughs> I could not record. That's the only thing that I was kind of in, but it's not enough to ruin my day. Sorry, guys. I really wanted to record, but I was just so much was happening one other guy them tell me say they would have sent it for me and then when i came back after going to the atm they're like no them not sent it i'm guessing because you need to see the money or whatever them say mute and just upon so i can't even be mad <laughs> i can't even be mad but if i send it myself pay for me but you have to buy a bag of stuff haul Actually, let me tell you this story first before we do the haul. Oh my god, we just love chat so much. I like twitch things going down in my brain. So, okay. So, once I got the pallets, going out the truck for bring here, I mean, and this woman, she had to talk and talk and talk and talk. And I'm, I don't really like to talk because I only speak when I'm speaking to the type of person. She just seems so vibrant and bubbly. And then, like, them start asking about myself. The driver was like, oh, you should be a media person, rotating. And I'm like, oh, I kind of am because I do YouTube and stuff like that. And he's like, oh, you miss you, me just a radio. So the woman is like, oh, since you do blah, 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 I can do backdrops and them type of something if you want. And I'm like, oh, it's not that type of YouTube because backdrop is more for like sit down videos, talk to in a video, not really necessary vlogs. You see me? I kind of felt bad if I said that, but it's the truth. She was like, oh yeah, I have a little business, basically event planning. This is where it gets sad. <laughs> the more we talk to people and the more I miss things, I realize that happiest people, the bubbliest people, the people that we talk a lot and like kiki, haha, -ha with you and friendly, they are the saddest people ever, bro. I miss that every single day. Like, oh, my heart broke. 
for her. She basically just yeah, say her kids are her life. When alarm they go up in the car and then the thing say I phone a ring and she's like no it's not alarm if you say the kids reach home. Me and her in a talk and she's like oh she feel like her kids kind of hold her back in a sense. Like of course she love her kids dearly but she said she feel like she don't really do much because all her focus have to go to them. She don't feel like she'll live her life. She'll live her life to her kids and that's it. In a sense, it's kind of like the same thing with media feel, but like, I wasn't living it for anybody. I was just not living it at all. So and she's like, the way she's busy and she not even get pictures of her work and stuff like that. And I'm like, oh, you know what you could have do? You could have like just get one tripod like the one I have. Set up a camera, do your work and just video work. She's like, this year, she said to herself, it has to be different. This year, she probably need to get one babysitter. At that point, bro, I was like, oh my God. In my head, <laughs> in my head, I was thinking like, oh my God, do you want me to babysit for you? <laughs> Literally, I was thinking to say that, but I didn't say that because keep in mind, I don't know this one. But like, I'm just an emotional person, bro. Like, <laughs> this lady don't know me, I know the lady, and I felt it for her. Like, I was there, like, oh my god, sis. <laughs> I would maybe see your kids. I would. She would give me her number. For sure, though. <laughs> Maybe there is in that chat. So, you feel like, oh, people aren't really fuckers. <laughs> I want to get Sunday now, though. Because it's a lot to do. So first thing is I got these gloves, sandpaper, this stuff is fine, this stuff is rough. And then I have a tin of varnish, fast drying. It says warm gloss. A paintbrush. I mean, yeah, I wear my own one. This, this couple, this old couple, this white man and this black lady. Like, she waves to me and I wave back to them. Oh, them they are off on one drive. The guy was like, oh. I saw you and Papin. You're going to Papin? You mean this to me? I mean, it was nice. It was kind of weird. It was giving, you know, <laughs> kidnap me and them the things to me. Even though them all, you can't trust all people either. But <laughs> so I was like, oh no, I'm fine. I'm waiting on my over. <laughs> now I'm going to send my stuff. <laughs> I'm dead like old man Tilly. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> oh my god, I'm so tired. Miss Sana, three of them already. Oop, that's not three. I have one left. And I've been contemplating to myself like, should I even stand this? Cause may I just put this one I back, you know? We really can't <laughs> I'm this on because I already have allergies and many want do dust come and show not much dust and some in the trash can dust sandpaper I didn't want that to like trigger my allergies I need like five days for recover nice room I want nice room we get the sit dog not in the room for two long I remember our room be nice when we did that you eat and look at me Look at me. But yeah. I'm just going to do this shit because I can do it. I can do it. Ah! Bro, me and Janelle look like we're doing another mafia. <laughs> well, this is how it's going. Say hi, Janelle. <laughs> Bro, this is literally torture. Me and Tilly, each one of them here, I told Jalai you owe me for the rubbing. Okay then. She knows that Naga am. <laughs> You guys haven't seen me in a couple days to be honest because the bitch been busy. I had to actually just do the bed 
it's a mess but that's it i like the bed so far i'm not gonna lie my only issue is this side has a palette showing but this side doesn't and i really wanted both sides so i could have like decorating room space for both sides what i might end up do is actually buy an next palette and add it like cut it in half or cut it somehow and add it to the bed so i have more Space and it looked like the picture I like. But I'm pretty sure that she also said she did use some local bed foot to make the bed a little higher. As of now, I don't really have a problem with the height of the bed, but I feel like making it look higher would be cuter. Did not put up the Elmo thing yet, but it's there. It actually just catch. I have these from when we did Yui. I'm gonna also attempt to put up back my YouTube black, but this is the inspo for right there. That's all I'm really gonna do to the walls for now because I want here and there to have like the black frames thingy. But I have no clue where we are putting that in it. Probably pictures of me and my family me and Janelle, like memories. Or I do like album covers. But I don't know yet, some shit. And then I also plan to get like a clothing rack, some other kind of different stuff to put in my room. So look. I thought That's the room. I actually think it's so cute. Like, ah! oh my god, I can't wait till I do more to it. Do you guys like it? Like, with this one side, or do you think, say, I just have to get the other side done? I feel like I just have to get the other side because, like, I feel like it's gonna be so much cuter because it's already so cute already. But <laughs> I gotta go, guys. Love you guys so much. Talk to you guys later. Mwah.